this uh, webcast here will teach you how to open up a Google Doc and also share a Google Doc with others within our school district. So if you go to google.com and you try to sign into your Gmail account, it will first ask for a password. Go ahead and type in your password. And once you type in your password, you will see all your emails here. Um, you know, your, your regular Gmail account that you're used to. But up here at the top right hand side, you will see a grid looking thing. If you go ahead and click on the grid, you'll find a bunch of apps that open. And when these apps open, go ahead and click on Google Drive. After you click on Google Drive, another page will load. And that is where all your documents will be stored. My Drive tab over here on the left hand side, these are all the documents that you have created yourself and that you are the owner of. Okay, And I have them modified by, um, I have them sorted by the last date that I modified them over here. Over here on the left hand side, the Shared With Me tab, and these are all the documents that others have shared with you. Could be students, could be other teachers within your school, could be your principal, just anyone that has shared documents with you that you would like to see. Okay, so you have a difference between my drive and shared with me. Now, you see a star right here? If you were to click on a star, okay, on the left-hand side, the next tab under this is starred. All these documents that you click on the star will go into that file. Okay. Now, in order to create a Google document to share with others and to collaborate in real time, on the left-hand side here, you see where it says create. You go ahead and click create. And then it'll give you some options. Right now we're just going to talk about a Google document. Go ahead and click Google document. Okay. A page will appear just like this. Now this looks uh, similar to a Word document, a Microsoft Word document that you have seen before, but it is just a, it was Google's way of getting you to collaborate with others on the same document. Okay. And at the top here, you'll see where it says Untitled Document. You can go ahead and click on that and you can rename it anything you want. So I'm going to rename this test document. Click OK. Now I'm going to start typing today's date, March 5th, 2014. This is a test document. Next, up here at the top left hand side, you will see comments. Um, if you would like to comment on anyone of the words or sentences in here you can go ahead and you can click comment and over on it'll highlight the word that you talked about or that you want to comment on and you can comment here okay that way anyone you share with will be able to see that this word right when they click on it this is the comment that I left and then you can reply to it back and forth maybe about you can talk about is this the correct wording we want to use or you can talk to a student telling them that this word is misspelled but you go ahead and click comments and then those will appear on the right hand side here. Okay. Next we have the blue share button. Right now it is private and it's only shared with me. But I can go ahead and I can click on share in case I want to share it with others. Alright. So first of all it says share settings. This link here you can go ahead and copy and paste and you can send through email in case someone does not have um, a Gmail account or is not in our SD170 database. But also you can go ahead and you can invite people and I could just start typing their email addresses um, and once I have typed their email addresses okay these are the two people I want to share it with here is a, a key function if you want someone just to view the document and not be able to edit it in any way you just want them to see it you can click can view if you just want them to comment you can click can comment or if you want them to edit maybe you're collaborating on a um, a document with somebody you can you can have them edit okay and then once you hit send okay it'll, it'll notify you could toggle this box first of all before you do that I always like to notify them via email because they might al not always be checking up on their drive so then you go ahead and you click send and their names will go right into here with who has access okay and also you can change what they have access to right here as well as well as take them off by clicking the X once you are finished with those two you can either add more or then you can simply click done okay 
after you click done, now the box up here is no longer locked. It's no longer private. It's now shared with two people. You can go ahead and click that if you want to share more.